with the tremendous increase in the speed of ordinary PCs, tools that just a few years ago we couldn't even imagine are now possible. This video will show how we can perform real-time acoustic mapping using a small handheld microphone array in combination with the Pulse multi-channel analyzer. Real-time mapping lends itself not only to troubleshooting, looking for unknown sources, but also as a pre-investigation procedure to get a general overview of a source before more traditional methods like STSF, spatial transformation of sound fields, or non-stationary STSF are used. During the measurement, the system continuously maps the sound intensity component orthogonal to the measurement plane. This is computed by repeatedly using acoustical holography on short time blocks. The frequency band mapped may be adjusted to match the observations being made. A special adaptation of holography is used to avoid the edge effect that would usually be seen when major sources are outside the measurement area. Since holography is used, sound intensity in a source plane parallel to the measurement plane may also be displayed. This usually increases the resolution of the sources significantly. Another option is to map the in-plane intensity vectors. Together, these two results give a complete understanding of the sound field. To get an accurate estimation of the in-plane intensity vector, a phase correction of the microphones is used. Deactivating this correction clearly demonstrates its importance. Real-time mapping has many applications relating to both full vehicles and key components. Here, it's used to detect leakages in the door seals of a Volvo S60. Moving the array along the upper part of the window clearly indicates the seal as the main source. Combining the handheld array with a PDA showing the map makes the solution truly handheld, enabling measurements to also be made at places that are difficult to access and where keeping the PC in sight is impossible. The array used contains 64 microphones spaced 3 centimeters apart. This gives an effective bandwidth of up to 5 kilohertz. The array contains fully integrated cabling to each microphone with only one cable leaving the array. The phase response of each microphone is measured during production and stored in the transducer. This information is read using the TEDS protocol by the system during initialization and is used to define the phase correction mentioned previously. Both the array and microphones are designed to be easily manageable also in confined spaces and over irregular surfaces. The front end is a standard 64 channel pulse front end. In this case it's based on a D-size front end and 12 channel input modules. This gives a very compact unit that may be even DC powered during road tests. Real-time mapping may be used on a wide variety of objects to get an immediate understanding of noise radiation behavior.